Campaign 2020, the day after President Trump's reversal and endorsement of mail-in voting, saying that here in Florida it is safe and secure, the president is suing another state that is trying to make it easier for voters to cast absentee ballots from home. The Trump campaign is suing Nevada over its plans to expand mail-in voting for the November election. Nevada, where you have a governor, he said, let's just send out millions of ballots and the post office cannot be prepared. I haven't spoken to the post office about it, but I don't know how they could possibly be prepared. Nevada lawmakers agreed to proactively mail the ballots to every registered voter in response to the pandemic. It is extremely important to me that our citizens do not have to decide between their health and their right to vote. President Trump insists mail-in voting will lead to widespread voter fraud, despite research showing it rarely does. But the president is open to it, at least in one state. Over a long period of time, they've been able to get the absentee ballots done extremely professionally. Florida is different from other states. Florida is a key battleground state in the presidential election, and former Vice President Joe Biden plans to blanket the state and others with ads. The Biden campaign announced the largest ad buy ever for a presidential campaign, $280 million on TV and digital ads in 15 battleground states. The ads will focus on the president's coronavirus response and the economic fallout from the pandemic. We have to do all we can to keep our fellow Americans safe and healthy. Biden says he's spending this week interviewing vice presidential candidates. The Biden campaign announced today that he will not accept his nomination at the convention center in Milwaukee at all due to concerns about COVID-19. And look for much more tonight on the CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell. That's at 6.30 after CBS 4 News at 6.00.